Um, so, Melissa, I'm going to let you take over, hon, and kind of talk about uh, WAM and uh, Focus 40. Hey, my second favorite team and my <laughs> girls. Hey! So, I'm so excited to be on here. First off, for those of you who don't have their camera on, I'm asking you to turn it on. I don't, look at me. I don't care what you look like. Turn it on. That way I can see your faces and see that you're a real person and you're there and you're listening because this is really important. So uh, I would really, really, really appreciate that. Um, so Stacy and I, like he said, we have been brainstorming and we have been um, thinking of ways to help both of our teams take this to the next level. We have got people on our teams. You being on this call tonight proves that you're one of them on our teams that are ready to run. And we want to give you every tool out there, every bit of support out there that you could possibly need. And one of the things that my team has been doing since the 1st of June is we have been doing accountability groups. So we have, we, we put, we put these accountability groups together based on rank. So we've got the ones going for manager together, the ones going for silver, the ones going for gold, et cetera. And we really just put these people in these groups and just kind of put them out there and just said, okay, now just hold each other accountable and y'all hit these ranks. So there's really not been structure to it. Um, we just, but let me tell you something, it has worked. We've been shouting people out, shouting groups out um, for, for hitting, um, for whoever turns in their IPAs every single day. And it's really the purpose of it this month, what we've seen over the last like four weeks, um, they everybody's really been holding each other accountable to turn in their IPAs every single day, which those, if anybody doesn't know, that's income producing activities. So, um, and, and that's all well and good. We're very excited that, you know, that it's doing this and it's working, but there's got to be some kind of structure to it in order to give you guys the tools that you need to take this to another level. There's five things that we have to have to grow our business, and that is prospects. That's a good marketing strategy, which we have on social media, onboarding, accountability, and retention. You have to have those things in order to, in order to grow. Am I right? I and mean, does everybody agree with that? So we have been collaborating with some other leaders in this company, and they are doing these things called WHAM. And it's weekly accountability meetings or weekly achievement meetings, which some teams are calling it one or the other. And we are going to take the top 5% of our distributors, not that say they want this, but are actually doing what it takes to get there. And we're going to offer them, it's not anything that's required, but man, is it going to be something that's going to be the most valuable thing to date that I think that we have offered any of our distributors. I am actually in one um, with, exec with a team of executives and you know, I don't do anything. I don't put, promote anything unless I've tried it. And I can tell you with me personally, it has, taking, it has taken my thought process and my business mindset to a whole nother level. So um, that's what we're proposing. That's what we're going to do. And I'll tell you, there's some reasons why accountability is so important. And that's one of the five, that's the, one of the five key systems that you have to have. And we're going to focus on that for a minute. So if you are accountable to someone, you are two and a half times more likely to hit your goal that month. Two and a half times, rather than just setting your goal and doing it yourself. It helps develop a more accurate plan on getting to your goal. It keeps you on track and keeps you motivated and keeps you inspired. And it eliminates excuses that a lot of us have on a daily basis. Because I can tell you every single day, you can find a reason not to do this every single day. And there's always an excuse. And some days is, I'm no different than anybody else. Some days, well, I can't say that because I can't think of one day in the last six and a half years that I've not worked this business. But I've, there's been some days when I haven't done as much as I could have, you know, because there's been something else that came up. But it helps eliminate that excuse for not doing your IPAs every single day. So the, the main purpose of doing this 
weekly accountability group. And it's going to be a daily accountability with weekly meetings is to develop you into leaders so that you can have these meetings with the top 5% of your team, of your downline. The things that that gives you is, first of all, it's going to give you time freedom because it's really going to show you who you need to spend the, the precious time that you have in a day with, who you need to pour into. Because you can't make somebody do it if they do not want to, no matter how bad you want it for them, no matter how great you think they would do, no matter how um, much in your head you think that they could, they are executive quality. You can't want it for somebody else and you cannot run two businesses. So that is truth because I have tried both. I've tried to do it, both of them. I've tried to want it for somebody and I've tried to run somebody else's business. It does not work. So it's going to, it's, it's going to show you, your, when you have your teams in this group, it's going to show you who is worthy of your time. So the next thing is, so it will give you more time freedom because you're not going to waste time on the ones that, um, that need help, but don't implement the suggestions you give them. How many of you have been there? Somebody has said, well, what do I do? And you tell them, and uh, six months later, they still haven't done it. I mean... If they wanted to do it and they really valued what you said, they would have done it. So move on. You know what I mean? That's gonna, this is going to show you who to move on from. The second one, it helps create results. The people that are in these groups cannot hide. If they do not do, if they, if they don't do what they're supposed to do each week, they're gone. They, they get kicked out of the group. This is like an exclusive, an exclusive few people that are looked at and, um, chosen to be in this so if the person that's put in there does not do it they're gone it's also easier to have conversations when someone is um when someone's not doing the steps it's easier to have conversations with a whole group instead of maybe one-on-one -on -one because you don't want somebody to feel like you're reprimanding them because you're nobody's boss you know you know what i mean so you, you can say what you need to say to a whole group that maybe we should try this. And if you really want this, you would do this when you're talking to one person, but you implement it in a group and that person's like, oh, if they're convicted over it, then they're probably talking to that person. You know what I mean? So um, it's easier, definitely easier to have conversations and it forces the person to do the daily activities. I mean, they have to do it if they want to be in this group. And um, there's another team in, in our company that uh, has been doing it for six weeks. And I'm gonna tell you, they've got rank advancement after rank advancement, leader after leader being developed in these groups, which is, I've talked to a lot of people. And, you know, when, like I said, when we finally decide to, to do it and bring it to you, it's not, just a, it's not just an off the cuff thing. The research has been there. We've talked about it, we've prayed over it. And this is what we really feel like is gonna take our business to the next level. So. Um, so you, you're either forced to do the work or you leave the group and you're not in it. And it's not that we're not going to support you, um, you know, doing it when you need to do it, but we're not, it's not going to be that one-on-one -on -one daily coaching um, from not just me and Stacy, but so many other people that are going to be brought into these groups to, to help grow you. Um, the third thing it does is relational, uh, re relational support. It helps you, um, it helps normalize challenges. It lets you know that you're not the only one going through the crap. You're not the only one going through the valleys. You're not the only one that has taken two steps forward and five steps back. You know, it shows you that the challenges are normal. That's where you learn and that's where you grow. And we help you overcome those on a daily basis. And then the last thing it does is it teaches you how to run a business. And this is my favorite thing. This is the thing I really wanna focus on. And the ones of you that were on my Zoom last night, this is gonna be a repeat for you, but you're on here, so that makes me happy. So you need the repeat. So most of us, when we started Zingular, we started just to get our products paid for, just as a hobby, you know, we did it when, when we could fit it in and as a hobbyist, or we became an accidental leader. And that was me. It was accidentally, people calling me saying, hey, what are you doing? How are you losing that weight? I mean, it was absolutely nothing that I said, hey, I, I, need, an, I, need, I need 
uh, I need so much more than what I've got on my plate right now. Please give me another business. Please give me uh, all these things that I need to do in addition to what, no. This was accidentally given to me, um, which I'm eternally grateful for though, but um, I became an accidental leader. And I've never done anything like this. I've never owned my own business before. I've never had to um, coach weight loss before. I've never had to talk about poop before. I've never had to do all the things that we do on a daily basis before. And I've definitely never had to think about taxes, um, self-employment tax. I've never had to think about like all of the things that go into a business. And being in a one-on-one -on -one group, you get to ask those questions, but it also teaches you to look at your numbers every day, which that's, that right there is, should be your focal point on your business. And I want everybody to write this down because this is so important. The way that you track your number, your numbers each day is you take your qualification volume, you get on your volumes report, you get in that green square, that number that's in that green square, that's the number you take. You divide it by whatever day it is today in the month. So today it would be the, what's today? The eighth. So your volume, your green volume, your qualification volume divided by eight and multiply it by the number of days in the month. So that would be 30. That's gonna tell you where you're tracking for the month. So whatever goal you set for yourself, if you set a goal to hit um, director this month, that's 20,000 points. If that number, the qualifications divided by the number of day it is today, multiply it by how many days are in the month. If that is not 20,000 or more, you're going to have to change what you're doing because you're not tracking your goal. This is going to force you every single day to track that number, to look at that number, to, to do something different, get a different idea if what you're doing is not working. So it's going to take you from an accidental leader to a full-fledged CEO business owner. It's going to take you to, from that mentality of, oh, I don't really want to know what I'm doing, to have to know what you're doing, have to look at your numbers, look at your business, look at who you can help in order to get to where you're, you need to go. If you're not tracking where you need to go, you either need to sign somebody up or you need to help somebody else pull them up and get them to where they need to go to get you to where you need to be. Does that make sense to everybody? And so that's what this is going to do for you. It's going to help you get to whatever goal you set for yourself by the end of the month. How many would love to do that? Because I don't know about y'all, but I have had the same goal since February, 2018, and I hadn't got there yet, but I want to, you know? And if I had, it, now that I have something like this to show me, well, I'm not tracking, we need to change something up. And that's what happened to me. I, I'm not tracking where I need to be. Something's got to change. And this is the change. We've got to teach our teams how to do the same thing that we need to do. We need to show our teams how to get to their goals in order for, uh, same thing with you. You need to show your downline how to get to what their goals that they set for themselves so you can get to a higher goal, so you can do bigger things, so you can get to, your, to, to the things that are on your dream board. That's what you want to do. You want this to be a, a legacy building business where you've got to get past the goal that you set for yourself each month. So that is the thing. And, and every day we're going to be talking back and forth in these groups once a week. You're going to have to turn in the sheet and it's going to have to say, where are you tracking? Are you tracking for your goal? What's your goal 90 days from now? And you've got to get to the goal that you set for yourself this month in order to get to your 90-day goal. What are the IPAs that you are going to do this week? And which ones did you say you were going to do last week that you didn't do? So it holds you accountable to what you say you do. And I mean, it's, it's going to be a game changer and you want to be a part of this. And the whole fact that you're on the Zoom tonight shows me um, who on my front line wants it. And I know it shows Stacy who on his team wants it because you're taking your time to jump on a Zoom on a foreign link that Stacy put the wrong link in to, uh, that you paid attention and you did what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? And it's up to you. You're the only one that can decide. It does, 
I can't do it for you. I can't want it for you. Stacy can't want it for you. He can't make you do it. It is you. It's got to be a conviction inside you. It's got to come from somewhere deep inside. You've got to go back to why. You've got to go back to what this is going to do for you. Whatever it is, wherever it is that you want to be, if you want to be an executive in this company and make $15,000 a month, why? Why? What is the more that you want that you don't have right now? What is the change in your world that that would give you that you don't have right now? What is it? What You've got to decide that. You've got to know your why, and you've got to layer it off. It can't just be like, oh, well, I want to make more money. Why? Well, because I want to send my kids to college. Why? Because they deserve an education that I can't give them right now. Why? Because they're my kids, and I want more for them than what I had for myself. I mean, you just pick, keep peeling those layers off and get to the real root of why you want this and why this would change your world and why this would change the world of the people you love. And then that's what's going to drive you every single day. That's what's going to make you take the action instead of just mouthing it. That's what's going to make you get up early in the mornings to do this. That's what's going to make you stay up late at night. That's what's going to make you turn the TV off and quit watching the crap on TV and do your business that's going to pay you. That's what's going to make you sacrifice some things that you may not want to sacrifice. That's what's going to keep you from giving the excuse after excuse after excuse that you do month after month. That's what's going to make you skip things on, you know, it's, instead of skipping things on your IPA form, it's going to make you do them and then do them again and then do them again every day after day after day. And it was just like Stacy said, did you watch Ursula today? There's no magic sauce to it. You work your ass off and I don't cuss. And I just said that because that's what you do. You work and then you work some more and you work some more because that's what's going to give you the freedom that you want. That's what's going to do it. And we want to give you every tool possible. We want to hold you accountable, help you eliminate those excuses, help you know that what you're, you know, the challenges that you face are normal. Everybody has the challenges. Everybody can find a reason not to do it. But we want to get in there, find the root of what it is and remind you every day what it is that you want out of this. Because it's so easy when other things are clouding your vision and clouding your judgment, not to remember why you started and not to remember why you want it or what this is going to give you. And that's what we want to do. We want to find out what that is and remind you every single day what that is. And when it's hard, we're going to give it to you even more and say, it may be hard now, but this is what you're, this is your hard. You choose your hard. You choose not to have your dream or you choose the hard now. Both of them are hard. Living the life right now, going to a job every single day. Believe me, that's hard. I did it for since I was 14 years old. I worked for somebody else. That's hard. But so is not having that freedom, that time freedom. Not spending time with your babies and not spending time with the people you love. That's hard. Which hard are you going to choose? Are you going to choose the easy way now? Are you going to choose the things now that are, are make you feel good in the short term? But take away that long-term goal. Take away that, that thing that's going to give you that what you want in the long term for short-term satisfaction. You have to choose your hard. And this group is not going to be easy. I'm going to tell you right now, it is going to be hard. You're going to be held accountable to things that you haven't been held accountable to before. But if you want it, that's who we want in these groups. And one thing we're going to do, and I think we're going to start the start the group. We haven't decided on a start date for the group, but we are going to start tomorrow doing something that Stacy and I came up with this, like our off top of our heads. I don't know how we came up with it, but um, neither one of us would be smart. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're coming up with something called Focus 40. We're going to give you three opportunities each day. There's going to be 40 minutes in the morning. That's going to be at uh, nine o'clock. Is it 9.30? 9.30? And it's going to be on this Zoom link. 9.30. 9.30 is the first one. The second I'll be the moderator one, of it. 
and that's going to be Stacy. The second one's going to be at 1220, and these are Eastern times. So the second one's going to be at 1220 Eastern time, and that's going to be 40 minutes. That one's going to be facilitated by Hillary, um, Hillary Brown. Oh my God, Brown, good Lord. <laughs> Hillary Brown, who is... Um, who is one of my executives, and she's gonna be facilitating that one. The last one is going to be 9.30 p.m. And I'm gonna be facilitating that one. And the way this is going to work is we are going to get on the Zoom and for 40 minutes, we're going to work our business. We're gonna set timers and we're gonna tell you for five minutes, there's a timer set for five minutes. You go and comment on everything you can on your Facebook page. You go and send birthday messages. You go and do all of that for five. You got five minutes to do it. When the timer goes off, the next five minutes, we're going to do post. We're going to do post on our Instagram stories, our Facebook stories, our results page. We're going to do our post for five minutes. You got five minutes. The next one is going to be 10 minutes of prospect follow-ups. You, you send as many prospect follow-ups as you can in those 10 minutes. When the bell goes off, we're done. The next 10 minutes is going to be, or I'm sorry, five minutes is going to be message your customers. Customers on eight days, customers you want to follow up with, customers that are old that you want to bring back. And the next five minutes is going to be distributors, sending messages to your distributor to encourage them today. Tell them you're thinking about them. Tell them you're here if you need them. Um, whatever it is that you want to encourage your distributors for that day, five minutes to do that. And then we've got, we're going to have a 10 minute discussion, any kind of questions that you have and a call to action, something that you need to do before the next meeting, before you attend that next meeting. And it might be set up a vision call. It might be set up something, but 40 minutes a day and you can attend one or you can attend all of them. Can you imagine what 40 minutes of focused activity, income producing activity would do for your business? So that's going to start tomorrow. It's at 9.30 a.m. 1220 um, at lunchtime or 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. So we tried to do them to where um, the, the people that are in Alaska could either do it first thing in the morning at 1220 or do it at, as soon as they get off work at 530. So um, that way I think we got everybody in that could fit something into their, um, their time. But can, I mean, it's going to be a game changer. But these are going to show us again, who is ready to put their pedal to the metal? Who is, who is going to actually do it and not just talk about it? So I'm excited. It's going to, I, I know I, with me, I go on all these rabbit trails. That's going to keep me focused every single day to do my activities because the, the same thing that got me to an executive is what's going to get you to an executive. And that's doing the same thing that the daily income producing activities, um, you have to get to a manager first and then you got to get to the next level that you just keep doing it over and over and over again. I still do the same thing that I have you do, that, that we tell you to do. It is massive action. That is so true. Massive action creates massive results. This creates nothing at all. Saying you're going to do something is not going to get you there. I can say all day long, I am an ambassador and sit right here on this seat and not do anything. Guess what? When do you think I'm going to be an ambassador? Never. But if I get off my butt and I go to work and I do what I need to do and I help enough people get where they want to go, guess what that's going to do for me? That's going to push me up. So that's what this is about. This is about creating leaders, creating leaders from you guys. You guys are going to be the leaders that are going to learn how to lead your team, pull them when they can't, encourage them, remind them of their why, and then that's what's going to get you to the next level. Stacy, did I forget anything? Um, oh, if you guys are doing this, you should be doing your team Z, you know, either while you're doing the 40 uh -huh. minutes or as soon as we're finished with the 40 minutes go back and fill in your Teamsy because this should wrap up everything that you need in Teamsy except for your personal development. That's something that um, 
I'll go ahead and tell you guys, if you're on the 931 in the morning, we're going to be talking about personal development during that 10 minutes. Um, and what else is there? I mean, everything else, you're, you're going to be covering what Teamsy asks you to do during this 40 minutes. So if you don't have Teamsy, go ahead and get your account set up tonight or tomorrow morning. So that way uh, you can start tracking that. And this is one of the things I love about Teamsy is I, Melissa's on my Teamsy. I'm on her Teamsy. So because we're accountability partners, we can see how many contacts we've made each day. And that is for leading by example. To me, that's one of the best things that can be done is I don't only want my team members uh, or I don't want to just be seeing my team member stuff. I want them to be seeing what I'm doing every day. And there's no better way that I can see on a daily basis to show my team that I'm leading by example the best that I can because they can see how many contacts I'm making every day. They can see if I've got a flame there or not or two flames so they know I'm working. And, and I'm a big, big believer in leading by example. Uh, I, I think that if you're asking your team to do something, uh, you should be doing it and they should, you should not only be doing it, you should be showing them that you're doing it. They should be able to see something out of you. Yep. Um, so Teamsy is, is great. If you guys don't have it, highly recommend you getting it. Um, it is, uh, we get a great discount. I can't think what it is, maybe $29 a month. $29 $19.99. A month. $19.99. It's $19.99 now? Wow. 20 bucks a discount. month. Yep. Okay. And if you get an annual uh, subscription to it, which is what I did, you get two months free. You're paying for 10 months um, if you're doing for a year and you get it for 12 months. So get that set up tonight or in the morning if you don't already have it set up. Um, Melissa, I cannot think of anything else. Guys, this is going to be fun. I mean, I, I'm going to enjoy Melissa and I, I mean, we, it, it was like when we were talking about this, you could just hear the joy in our voices earlier, just talking about, you know, how great is this that we can have our Zoom on. We know there's people here with us. It's almost, it's the best thing in the world outside of sitting around a round table and working together. I mean, that, that's essentially what we're doing. Uh, come into the 930 in the morning, we're going to be sitting around a round table and we're going to be, we're going to be getting our stuff done. You come in at 1220, you're going to be sitting with Melissa or sitting with Hillary Brown at a round table. And he, here's what I, this is personally what I'd recommend you guys doing is um, whichever time works best for you, do that, but also try to get on the ones uh, when you can with someone different, with a different moderator. Because that 10 minutes, you may pick up on something and hear something that maybe we didn't discuss in the 930 one. Or, you know, maybe one day do 930, another day do 12, do the 1220, and maybe another day do 930. But I, I think it's good to get on with different moderators when you have different leaders in that last 10 minutes. Uh, you might hear something that you've never heard from me or, or Melissa or... Uh, if you're on Hillary's team, maybe you haven't, you know, you jump on one of ours, you, you know, you hear something from us that you hadn't heard from Hillary. And, and that's the great thing with collaboration leadership is you get so many different perspectives. And, and that is so important when you're growing. Yep. I agree. But, that, but that's it. I don't think we've left anything out. Well, um, I'm going to tell you, mine's going to be fun. We're going to have some fun <laughs> and we're going to be, we're going to be woo woo woo. No, there's no talking for 40 minutes. There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing. <laughs> Run your mouth. It, it, it's 40, well, 30 minutes of working. 30 minutes of working. Hey, you can have fun while you work. We can have, and we are. We're going to have fun while we work. Let I me mean, tell you, those five minutes and 10 minutes, I think we'll go by pretty quick. I think so too. <laughs> yeah, as you're working, I, I think you're gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, that was five minutes!" Or you know, "Oh my goodness, that, that was a quick ten minutes." Um, but it keeps us focused. Keeps us focused on the things we need to be focused on. And I know I need it. I, I you know, Melissa said, you know, she has squirrels running around her head. I'm the same way. I get distracted <laughs> very, very easily if I'm working on something and my phone dings or vibrates. First thing I want to do is look at it and then answer whoever it is messaging me, but with doing this on a Zoom, 
you, you, those messages aren't going to be popping up. Are cameras are. on are mandatory. Yes, that that is another thing. Cameras have that to be on. That is not guys. an option. You can have yourself muted while you're working. That's fine, but cameras do have to be on. Yeah. And, and I know this is easy for me to say, so I'll let Melissa say it as well. We don't care what you look like. We love you anyways. Trust yep. me, we love you. 